In this video, we're gonna talk about the worst GA4 referrals nightmare. And just like every other horror movie starts with somebody moving into a new house, data-driven new platform and all of its courses move, but that's not a topic of this video. Okay, now I'm gonna stop being, uh, you know, this scary movie presenter and uh, go into my nerd mode. Anyway, we're here in the my.datadrivenyou.com subdomain and we have a couple of links here that all lead to our main site. I'm here in the Universal Analytics property that was primed to separate myself from the rest of the visitors and this subdomain does not have this property installed. So if I click on one of these links and it takes me to the main domain datadrivenyou.com, I should appear here. Here I am. It's important to note here that medium is referral and source is my datadrivenyou.com. So basically universal analytics was understanding that I'm visiting from an external website, even though it's my own subdomain. In GA4, however, let's do it again. I'm gonna go back to mydatadrivenyou.com and I'm gonna turn on the debugger for these purposes. I'm not gonna go deeper into the details, but just get this plugin, it's called GA Debug, turn it on, and then go here in the debug view of the GA4 property. So this GA4 property is also not installed on this subdomain, but only on the main domain, datadrivenyou.com. Now take a look. If I choose the proper debugging device and click on the link, for example, to the blog, it takes me to our main domain. And in the debug view, Let's wait for a second and see. Something should come in real quick. Debugger usually works like this. Okay, here's the page view. Let's see if this is what we're looking for. Location is blog. Exactly the one that we visited. Page refer is correctly noted as my.datadrivenu.com, but this parameter here Ignore refer is set to true automatically, which actually stops GA4 from understanding that this visit is coming from an external website. But the problem is when ignore refer is set to true, then this visit gets bundled into a not set bucket or unassigned traffic. So let's look at the official docs and see how Google Analytics 4 treats self referrals. It says that self-referral is a referral traffic that can originate from pages within your own domains. By default, analytics will not identify traffic as referral when the referring website matches the same domain of the current page or any of its subdomains. In practice, we just saw that if somebody comes to your main domain from a subdomain, GA4 will not, like its predecessor Universal, it will not put it in a bucket of referrals and report the source correctly, but it will automatically ignore the referrer and that means that this traffic will end up in your not set or unassigned default channel grouping. Why is this a nightmare? Well, if, for example, marketing agency creates a whole bunch of subdomains on your behalf and for landing pages and send paid traffic to those subdomains. Previously, you were able to easily identify all the traffic that was coming from those particular subdomains. And right now, you will have a lot of not set traffic. Now, when I said, why is that a nightmare? It doesn't end up there. The problem is that this issue is silent and you don't understand what's happening. For example, you would be looking at your source medium report and not seeing your subdomains here in the referrals. But when you look at all the source medium that send traffic to you, you will see that there is a huge chunk of them 
being bundled into direct non-traffic source medium. Now, if we look at referral traffic, you will not be able to see the traffic that we mentioned here and you won't be able to attribute it correctly. How do you fix this problem? Well, just to identify whether you do have this problem or not, you would go to the exploration reports and then create a blank report, import uh, page referral dimension and entrances is metric. And it's important to create a filter up front that says we want all the referrals that contain data driven you or your brand, obviously. So let's populate the report. And it says there were 356 entrances in the past seven days, even though the original referral report, you know, it said 35 users here with the data driven you. Now, this was a nightmare because these data driven you.com referrals have nothing to do with all these uh, referrals from your subdomains. Uh, the problem is that if you try to do this yourself and uh, structure this exploration report just like this with page referral as dimension and entrances as metrics, create this particular filter containing only your domain page referrals, you will see some number of the entrances here that will be assigned in this uh, reporting section into unassigned default channel grouping. Now let's take a look at this one quickly and try to figure out when Google says that they will not identify traffic as referral when the referring website matches the same domain of your website. Well, how come do we have referral from datadrivenu.com when we are actually tracking datadrivenu.com? To fix this problem, I had to create another user exploration. I imported hostname as dimension and again, entrances as metrics. And it's important to filter host names that do not contain data driven you. So we understand which host name actually received that traffic. And also we want source medium to be limited only to data driven you slash referral. Now it's required to type space here between the slash and the domain and the medium itself. So just have that in mind because it won't work when you don't press spacebar between the source and the medium. Anyway, now if we populate this report, we say, okay, we have 35 entrances. Let's get back here. Yeah, the number makes completely sense. But the host name that received that traffic is Tara Jeffletics. Now I could go a step deeper here and add landing page as a dimension and understand which landing pages were actually receiving the traffic. I'm not going to do that for the privacy reasons, but just have in mind to structure your exploration like this. Host name is a dimension, entrance is a metric, and then you understand uh, which host name apart from your own receives the traffic that gets assigned as a referral from your own domain. Because in reality, we have links from datadrivenu.com that take people to jeffaletics.com. And this is what makes these appear in this report here. I hope that you like this video, that you are not scared too much of this nightmare that I uh, had to live through in GA4 because now you have a recipe how to battle it and uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you uh, in the next GA4 topic. Bye.